Sustainably Addressing Population Growth. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 411. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is G. Siebel, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. This is our February 7th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today I want to talk about sustainably addressing population growth and One Community's model for doing this. You know, and the question, you know, the first thing to really discuss about this and to address is that we don't see it as a problem of too many people. You know, if you look at population density of a place like Tokyo, you know, we could spread cities like that across the world and we could manage, you know, 30 billion people pretty easily. You know, and if we so the way that we look at it is, is like, well, but who wants to really does everybody want to live that way? I don't we don't think that they do. You know, so then the next step or question that we ask is like, well, then how do you create an environment that really is still is spread out and can provide a better way of living than the way that those people and most people are living right now while still being regenerative for the planet, being sustainable, not destroying our environments, you know, not creating water pollution problems and air pollution problems and food quality problems. How do we do that? And the answer is radical self-sustainability, self-sustainability, radical self-sufficiency, localizing the production of food, localizing uh, recreational activities and things like that, localizing you know, the production of materials as well if we can, and designing and building everything for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet in such a way that as it expands and replicates across the world, it doesn't create problems with sustainability. And so everything you see happening in the background of the video here is our solution to that. It's saying, okay, we don't see the population going down. We don't see draconian measures or agree with draconian measures to limit the number of you know, children people can have or, you know, or population in general. Instead, let's create a way of life that provides enough for people such that that's not necessary and recognizes that population is predictably going to continue to grow. And so we can sustainably address that growing population in a way that also supports people and makes it beneficial for people to regenerate environments and build in places that currently most people wouldn't want to live by creating environments that are so beautiful and a lifestyle that's so luxurious that people would, that are, people are motivated to do that for their own benefit, you know, for selfish reasons. You know, call it selfish philanthropy or selfish humanitarianism. You know, we can create these environments so that people look at that and experience and say, wow, this is so amazing. I want to live this way, you know, but these are my resources. And then say, well, that's great. If you were to buy this land that other people don't want, you can turn it into a paradise using models like this. And so this is what one community is doing. You know, when we're designing everything that we're doing and open sourcing all the tools, the tutorials, the resources, and do-it-yourself instructions to replicate our model anywhere in the world, building the first model is a place that people want to come and experience and visit, demonstrate as easy enough, affordable enough, and attractive enough, the whole lifestyle experience, such that it will spread across the world so we can sustainably address population growth by providing a model that works and recognizes that population growth is going to continue like this. You know, for the foreseeable future, it's going to continue to go up at this rapid rate, doubling, I don't know how many years it's taking right now for us to double the population on the planet, but we are going to double the population on the planet. You know, and so our model is designed such that if we can create a self-replicating doubling model of this, we can address global sustainability within our lifetime. We can involve every single person, you know, 10 billion people within, within the, in a project like this, if it were to replicate within 30 years, but we don't need 10 billion people. We just need to reach that tipping point, that critical mass of participation so that everybody that wants to participate in something like this can. And in so doing, we enroll and invite the people around the world that need something like this most to get involved. And then all it requires is hard work and enough places 
to meet the needs of those people and pathways for people to get involved and a really clear structure so that everybody that is involved is a positive contributor to the model and enough diverse models so that people with diverse values and ideas of what it should look like can participate or model and replicate the open source version of it to create their own version that might be different from anybody else's but meet their needs. In so doing, we can meet the foundational needs of people such that they have enough that they can help other people. And so this is how we see ourselves sustainably addressing population growth through the one community model. And we're addressing all the foundations of a sustainable civilization as part of this building on a foundation of physical sustainable infrastructure, which is food, energy, and housing, providing safer homes, providing better food, providing sustainable energy that reduces people's overhead of living while reducing their carbon footprint as well, as well as the food and the housing as well. And also adding to that the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified the most important being fulfilled living practices, high school education models, high school economic models, and true stewardship, putting all that together to provide a way of living that people will consider to be more enriching, more fun, more fulfilling, better than the way they're living right now so it spreads across the world. Then creating a global cooperative and collaborative to address the challenges we haven't thought of, to evolve the models, create more versions of what it is that we're creating so people can participate and just making it easier and easier, more and more accessible for people to come and stay and visit, which will host hundreds of thousands of visitors annually once one community is created, and also to live and we'll host a couple thousand per permanent full-time residents as well in just our one community and teaching others how to create those as well and ultimately growing to even bigger and larger sustainable cities that are all community run you know so not a government project building that although they could use our open source plans as well and that would be wonderful to have more options but diy do-it-yourself versions where people can get together and know exactly how much it's going to cost how much labor it's going to take and work together with our team and other teams collaboratively improving it all and making it easier and easier to implement anywhere in the world this is how we are sustainably addressing uh, population growth through a grassroots movement that we see as implementable by anybody anywhere. And so this is what we're up to. And we're an all-volunteer team doing it. We've had over 500 volunteers contribute to this point, including myself. Uh, we are a non-governmental organization. We're a non-profit organization. <clears throat> and we're creating this because we want to live this way and because we want everybody to be able to live this way that wants to. And so this is what we're up to. Uh, you can see what our whole team has accomplished by visiting our written blog for last week. You'll see specifically you go back for years and see everything that we've done every single week. And, uh, and um, yeah, we'll continue doing it. So until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The One Community Approach to Highest Good Society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.